What's up guys? I'm Brody Bass with the Outdoor News Junior Pro Team. Today I want to talk to you about taking pictures of you and your animal. You've had a successful hunt. Now it's time to take some pictures. I'm going to tell you a few tips and tricks and what to look for in taking pictures of you and your harvest. One thing you want to make sure that there's enough room between the hunter and the animal. You don't want to see that the, the deer's head or an antler or a tine or the hunter's head is cut off. You want to make sure that you have enough room all the way around. Another thing to look for is make sure there's no shadows on your hunter. Uh, make sure there's no tines that are covering its face. You want to be able to see your animal as well as see your hunter. The big thing is to sit deer on its belly. Back legs are spread and the front legs are underneath for the best photos. Another big thing is always check focus on your camera. Make sure that you have your animal and your hunter all in focus while taking the photos. So a few things I like to look for is make sure that all the tines are showing up your animal. You know, make sure that head is straight. The person behind the deer, make sure that they're not hiding behind the animal. You want to see the deer and you want to see the hunter. Before you take them to the taxidermy, this is very important to take as many photos as you can. Don't rush it. Take as many photos as you want. Different angles, different, um, go from tight, medium, and wide. This is where you can really have a lot of fun. Be creative and just have fun. As a hunter, I know how much time it takes to harvest your animal. So make sure to take some time, take some photos, be creative, and have fun. For more information on the Outdoor News Junior Pro Team, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and have fun this season.